Today we are in a workshop. We are going to take the engine out. We had an engine failure in Poland. <laughs> engine out to find what's wrong. I suspect the bearings are gone and the uh, rods and the crankshaft but we'll see. Today we have uh, Vetle with us. My name is Vetle. And uh, he's come all the way from uh, Telemark driving six hours just to come and help us take the engine out so we're gonna have a fun time. Hope you enjoy. Dash bar in the front, it's bolted to the main frame. It's easy to swap out. It's designed so that when I hit something, it won't damage the, the front frame unless it's a big hit. This is the strongest point on the car. It's a 50 millimeter spanner where the, uh, the crew on the track used to pull me when I need to get help into the, um, to the pits. To make it easy to, uh, to take the engine out, we have made this front frame. It's easy to take off the complete front end. We don't have to remove the intercooler. We don't have to remove the lights. Everything is plug and play um, made so that it's easy to take off. It makes it very easy for us to take out the engine. Front frame is gone. We are ready to take out the engine in a little bit. Right now we're taking off the wiring that, uh, out of the way so we can take, off the, uh, take out the engine. We have to take off the fuel system from the regulator and uh, the water pipe so we can get all the wiring out. This is a great tool. Short spanner, long spanner. Terrible. 
time is it? It's turbo time. <laughs> the turbo is out. I think, um... <laughs> <laughs> so the turbo is out. It looks like it's been some heat here. It's good to get that inspection after all the abuse this year. It looks it looks good. <laughs> some ethanol to start today. Just a quick tip not to lose your screws or bolts when you disassemble. Always put them back in where they belong. We use these coolant pipes, um, it's flexible, super light, very thin and it connects the engine to the radiator in the back. Ready to take the engine out. I guess we weren't ready after all. Forgot the clutch line. Reaching 144 Newton meters just to crank the engine. The engine is out. We are now currently preparing to turn the engine upside down and remove the bottom uh, end, uh, the rear sump. Yeah. 